Good morning, Year 8. I hope you're all well. Um, the focus of today's lesson is uh, practicing language analysis. And one of the things that we, we do a lot of in English is uh, looking at extracts uh, such as this from the uh, novel uh, that you're studying or the poem that you're studying or the play that you're studying. Uh, and we look at the language that the writer uses. And what we're trying to understand is how the writer is using language for effect, what kind of message are they trying to present through using particular terms, particular words, particular phrases. Now, this is an extract from uh, Animal Farm, and when we read it, okay, we you should recognise this is from uh, chapter four, so you'll know where in the novel uh, it's from, and it's about the cat Battle of the Cowshed. Now, when we give you a question, okay, so you'll have the extract, we have the question underneath. And the question says, how has Orwell used language to show the violence and or the horror of the battle? So the key words here are violence and horror. And that's really what I'm looking for. I'm looking for any words and phrases that show that this was a violent or a horrible battle. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to read through it. And as I read through it, I'm just going to underline uh, or highlight certain phrases that I think show uh, horror or violence. And then we'll go back to it and we'll discuss uh, those words and phrases that I've highlighted. So we have, but the most terrifying spectacle of all was Boxer. Terrifying spectacle. That is a really, really horrific image uh, rearing up on his hind legs and striking out with his great iron shod hoofs like a stallion so we've got this image of boxer this huge beast and he's up on his hind legs uh, he's got his um his uh horseshoes on his feet and he's kind of uh, almost striking out almost punching his very first blow so the blow took a stable lad from Foxwood on the skull and stretched him lifeless in the mud. At the sight, several men dropped their sticks and stuck, tried to run. Panic overtook them, and the next moment all the animals together were chasing them round and round the yard. They were gored, kicked, bitten, trampled on. We'll talk about this because I love that little sentence there. There was not an animal on the farm that did not take vengeance on them after his own fashion. Even the cat suddenly leapt off a roof onto the cowman's shoulders and sank her claws into his neck, at which he yelled horribly. At a moment when the opening were clear, the men were glad enough to rush out of the yard and make a bolt for the main road. And so within five minutes of their invasion, they were in ignominious retreat by the same way they had come with a flock of geese hissing after them and pecking at their calves all of the way. So I've underlined a few things there and actually uh, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to talk about just a few of them because I think a few of them uh, are, are really important because they show the violence and the horror of the battle. Uh, and I'm going to annotate one or two little things. Uh, it might be that you want to watch this video more than once because you might just want to listen to what I'm saying. Uh, but I will only just annotate one or two things. So this terrifying spectacle, okay, this is a, a terrible sight, okay, a fearful sight of Boxer. Okay, Boxer rearing up on his hind legs. Now we know that Boxer, he's usually really calm, isn't he? So it's odd to see him so angry. So he's usually calm and he's rearing up on his hind legs. Uh, so towering over the men and striking out with his great iron shod hooves like a stallion. Uh, and I think that's a really interesting idea, iron shod hooves. Okay, the fact that he's using uh, his horseshoes uh, like a weapon. So he's using his short horseshoes like a weapon. And the first blow took a stable lad from Foxwood on the skull and stretched him 
lifeless in the mud. Now we know that this stable boy, if we cast our minds back, we know that this stable boy didn't die, he was just knocked out. But lifeless. Okay, it intimates death. It shows that he, uh, that Boxer is capable of causing terrible, terrible imager, uh, uh, injury. So we've got lots and lots of violent phrases here. Okay, that they show that that Boxer is a it's a strong beast that he's fighting, and that shows the violence of the battle. At the same sight, several men dropped their sticks, tried to run, panic overtook them, and the next moment, all the animals together were chasing them round and round the yard. So it's almost like they can't escape because they're going round the yard, and they were gored, kicked, bitten, trampled on. And what we've got here is a list of violent verbs, violent verbs. So a list of violent verbs. Uh, and it's interesting that these verbs, they all come together, gored, kicked, bitten, trampled on. I think what Orwell's trying to show is kind of the maelstrom of the fight all of these things going on at exactly the same time gourd is a particularly gruesome word uh, gourd means that you are injured by an animal's horn uh, so that usually means that you've been stabbed by an anim uh, animal's horn and the the, uh, the the horns causing extreme damage to you kicked now some of you will have been kicked by a horse and you will know how much that hurts it really hurts okay so kicked Bitten. Some of you will have been bitten by, I don't know, a hamster, a guinea pig, or maybe even a dog. But you'll know that animals' teeth are really, really, really sharp, and it really hurts. Trampled on. You will know that some of the animals are huge. Cows, horses are absolutely huge. I don't know if any of you have ever had a horse stand on your foot. It really hurts. Really, really, really hurts. Now imagine that animal is trampling on your body. Okay, it's going to be causing you all sorts of damage. There was not an animal on the farm they did not take vengeance on. Even the cat leapt off uh, off a roof onto a cowman's soldier, uh, cowman's shoulders, sorry, and sank her claws into his neck. So even a small animal. Now we know that cats can be quite vicious, but look at this: sank her claws into his neck. It's almost like the cat's a vampire. It's suggesting that the cat has extraordinary uh, I want to say superhuman sense uh, uh, strength but it's not superhuman because it's a cat I'm not sure that you can say super cat strength but it shows just how strong the cat is and this man yells horribly because he is hurt terribly now the men rush out of the yard they run for the main road uh, and within five minutes they were running away with a flock of geese hissing after them and that's a really nice idea this fact this fact that they're hissing after him it's almost like they're booing them away from the um away from the farm pecking at their calves all the way so so biting at them almost treating the men as if they were food so we've got lots and lots and lots of uh phrases underlined they're all phrases to do with violence uh, maybe not so well i don't know the death that is the horror uh, of the battle but lots and lots of uh, phrases that show that this is a really really horrific experience i think perhaps what we have to remember as well if you cast your mind back to one of your lessons you looked at the context of the novel uh, so you'll know that this novel is about the russian revolution uh, so what we have are uh, all of these men now all of these men are fighting for the farmers so this is like uh the king's uh, uh the Tsar, sorry Tsar nicholas this is like the Tsar's army okay fighting uh the animals now we all know that the animals represent different people within society and boxer if you remember boxer represents the dutiful worker okay the the all of the people who do all of the work, uh, the the kind of the, the manufacturing work, uh, the agricultural work within the within the country. So he's symbolic of all of those people put together. So it's interesting that actually it's Boxer who seems the most terrifying. Um, 
because what we have then is this kind of idea that the Tsar's army are trying to take Russia back from the uh, from uh, the the people who have had the revolution. And the normally calm, the usually calm worker, the people who do what they're told to do, if they get angry and you get them all together, it shows just how powerful they really are. OK, so this group of people are really powerful, powerful enough to beat off the um, the army of uh, the, the royalty, the royal army. OK, so what I'm going to do is um, you will see on the PowerPoint that there are going to be three more videos. OK, so this is discussing uh, the extract and, and having a look at the horror, having a look at the violence. And I've kind of spoken about it given you a few ideas about the words uh, why the words have been used uh, in the next three videos there are going to be three other videos uh, I think on the next slide of the PowerPoint and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to do uh, analysis how I'm going to do language analysis of one part of this extract and then I'm going to ask you to have a go yourself so on the first uh, the first uh, video it's going to be for anybody who's on foundational developing uh, so if you're on foundational developing um, and I'm going to show you how to uh, write a foundation and developing paragraph if you fancy having a go at the uh, secure paragraph or if you are a secure writer I'm going to on the second video I'm going to give you a uh, a secure video to show you how to extend the paragraph uh, and uh, turn it into a secure paragraph and then on the third uh, video what I'll be doing is looking at a secure but showing you how to turn that into the excellence so it's up to you which video that you look at obviously if you're on uh, foundation or developing start there first if you want to move up to the secure and have a go that is absolutely fine what we shouldn't really be seeing is anybody who's on the excellence band or on the secure doing the foundation or developing work you should always try and push it push your way up uh, so those are coming up on the next uh, three videos um, and good luck